try to get one of them into my gate hide. Alright, well this is, uh, what would this be, my third swarm of the season, second one from this same hive. I don't know if it's a virgin queen or, or what's going on. This is the hive that I put the swarm into. Um, I'm starting to think that moving a hive body to the location of the swarm is the best way to keep all the bees, otherwise they seem to go back to the mother hive. None of them are going back to the mother hive right now. These bees are really mad. Really, really mad. I've never seen such a mad swarm before. I think they're all going in. I left them a crack at the top. I shook them in with a bucket. Got them into the bucket off the tree. This is my bucket on a pole. And you bang them into the bucket by shaking the bucket against the tree, and then you dump them in the hive. Seems to be the best way of doing it. Except it pisses them off royal. Even water wasn't helping much. Then I closed up the top and gave them an entrance so that they liked the hive body so it didn't seem like an open cavity. And it looks like 95% of them are inside the, inside the hive right now. This is my little apiary. Right now it's got nine occupied hives. The uh, last swarm there is going to be the tenth. Two of them are from this hive here. Number three. This is an Italian hive. It swarmed twice. And so far, this year, twice. This is one of its daughters. When I installed the bees here, most of them went back to the mother hive. This is why I think they swarmed again. They only had one box filled. A single box filled. I don't know what they are at now. This is a division from the hive that swarmed and then escaped. It's quiet now. It usually takes about seven days for some, for uh, a hive to take off. I didn't find the queen, so it's queenless. They're making one. They've got egg swarm cells. This is a division from my favorite hive, number five. This was in early May. I put the queen in there. They're doing fantastic. This is number five, my favorite of the whole apiary. Only one that produced honey last year. They uh, wintered poorly the year before last. So last year I didn't get very much crop. This is uh, a cutout I did last year from a uh, friend's house. They're doing fantastic. I'm really pleased with their success. Probably a feral queen in that one. This hive This hive swarmed and got away. I, I installed them and then they, they weren't there anymore. Either they went back or they uh, took off an offering to the wild. This hive hasn't swarmed to my knowledge yet. It's a bit slow. It looks okay for now. Anyway, that's a tour of my apiary, humble as it is. I install um, patio stones, 24 inch by 24 inch. Uh, level them with gravel. This uh, provides an extremely stable base for my hive stands. The hive stands are adjustable. There's a bolt underneath. You can check it out on my blog. 
so that when you uh, level the hive stand, you can uh, make up for any small shift in uh, level during the winter. Stone will tend to settle during the winter. I love watching the entrances. It's always fun to watch the entrances. See how busy they are and see what they're doing, what kind of pollen they're bringing in. This is number five. I'm in suit, fully suited, so uh, I'm not too worried about sitting here at the entrance. Um, excuse me, this is number two. It's a division from number five. Um, again, my favorite hive. My favorite queen. Everyone's got a favorite. I don't know if they'll produce this year, but these are increases. I have uh, five producing level hives so far.